sometimes you have to go really hard to understand how really how small you really are this quote tells us that of this whole universe or the never ending space that we are very small creatures as humans and by going to the outer space you realize how small you actually are so hello everyone i welcome you all with warm greetings from me and whole crew of space india today i anubhav singh will organize will be organizing this webinar and also will be conducting it too so the first of all let's know what today's topic of our webinar is it's opportunity rover now many of you must be aware of this rover it is one of the rovers which were sent on the surface of mars for new awakenings of our planet so well let's see how many things do you all know about the opportunity rover so here we are with the most simple questions about the rover but let's know something about the rover first first question is when was the opportunity rover launched i will give you 45 seconds to answer this question so the time starts now i am getting answers of 2004 2002 2001 and 2003 all of the answers most of them are 2004 yeah right the times up now 45 seconds are passed and the correct answer is a part 2003 we'll discuss this question what why is the answer 2003 next one and the next question is how many years and days was the rover sent on the mars for a part 15 years 249 days b part 14 years 136 days c part 12 years 192 days and d part 90 days please read the question carefully it is a tricky one i am getting a b and c part please read the question carefully it is saying how many years and days it can be anything years or days was the rover sent on the mars now i am getting d part also but most of the answers are a and c times up the 45 seconds have passed now and the correct answer is b part 14 years and 136 days opportunity spent 130 14 years and 136 days even after planned for 90 days only now this gives you a hint for upcoming questions the so question 3 we are here Question three says, which SNC launched the Opportunity rover? A part, 
NASA, E-Part, ISRO, T-Part, Roscosmos, and D-Part, SpaceX. This is a very easy question. I'm getting most of the answers B part, but now A part is coming. 45 seconds is going to pass very quick. Please answer. Now I'm getting A part, NASA. Awesome. Time's up. 45 seconds have passed and the correct answer is A part NASA. NASA sent the opportunity rover to space in 2003. The fourth question is, how many years and days was the rover there on Mars surface until the communication cut off? A part, 12 years, 192 days. B part, 90 days. C part, 14 years, 136 days. And the last, D part, 15 years and 249 days. I am getting C part. Most of the answers are C. Also some mixture of B and A also. D is there too. 45 seconds is going to be over. Please answer. That's it. Time's up. 45 seconds have passed. And the correct answer is C part, 14 years and 136 days. Now, these are the basic general questions about Opportunity Rover. So let's go in details about the rover. Today's date, 24th January. It is a very special date for the Opportunity Rover because on this date, 24 January 2004, the rover landed on the surface of Mars. This is a big deal as Opportunity and its twin rover Spirit landed on Mars in the same month. Two rovers landing on Mars in the same month was a huge achievement. Also, when Opportunity landed, it got up in a small crater and made a deep spot there. The name of the crater was named as Eagle Crater. And then that the bedrock was coming out at certain points covering the small crater. This observation was done by opportunity and the research team was also shocked that the bedrock was also at the surface of the Mars in the crater. And then it moved to the endurance crater to do the research work. After researching the endurance crater, it went to the Victoria crater. And when it reached there, the scientists saw how big that crater was. Mm. It was massive and had a diameter of 1.5 miles. After finishing Victoria Crater, it was thought to stop, but then another crater called Endeavour Crater came to the control team of NASA, but they thought that Endeavour Crater is far for the rover. 
it will take years to reach there but the final decision was to go there what is in that crater and research about it now let's know what is the opportunity rover and its functions in details so the very starting thing to learn about opportunity is that when was it launched and when did it lost communication the exact date as we say about the launch of the rover it was a successful launch and it happened on 8 july 2003 with the help of a rocket named as delta 2 7925h 9.5 or in short delta 2 only and it was launched in cape canaveral slc 17b in florida united states and then the communication after 14 years was lost on june 12 2018 it was officially said that the rover is officially offline that how lost communication there was a very simple reason for the rover was stuck in in uh, the storm and that the storm didn't manage to damage the rover but was successful in covering the solar panels with thick layers of dust and then the rover wasn't able to recharge itself so it went down moving on to the next thing which are some basic things about opportunity are its movement speed its movement speed was so little it was 0.18 kilometers per hour and it covered 45.16 kilometer around 28.06 miles number of things were there attached in the spacecraft also and its total mass was 1060 kg or 1. 06 tons in which opportunity weighted 185 kg the lander weighted 348 kg back shell and parachute were so big that they covered 209 kg more than the rover and the crew state was 193 kg and propellant of 50 kg now on the basis of this knowledge why don't we have some questions so the first question is from where was the opportunity rover launched a part cape canaveral florida b part guiana space center french guiana c part lp odc space sea launch floating platform You have forty-five seconds to answer the question. I can see A part. Most of all, Cape Canaveral, Florida. B part is coming to That's it the time is up
Moving on to the next question, we have what was the name of the rocket which helped in the launch of the spacecraft which carried the rover? A part, X-15, B part, Apollo Soyuz, C part, Gemini, D part, Delta II. Forty-five seconds have passed, and I have gotten answers C, A, and D. First of all, A part is coming. So the correct answer for this question is B part, Delta Two. Moving on to the next question, we have question three. Which of these is correct in sense of lost communication of opportunity rover? You can answer many parts here. There is not only one answer. The question parts are A part, repulse of the surface, B part, damage to the rover, C part, solar storm burns the rover, D part, none of these. I am getting B part as the answers most of all. A, B, C also. Many of the answers are D. Make some answers. But the correct answer is for the question is. D part, none of these. None of these things happen to Opportunity Rover. Ripples of the surface were there, but research team was able to got it out of there. Second part, damage to the rover was not done by the solar storm. Sorry, the dust storm, I may correct. The storm didn't correct, damage the rover, it over the solar panels and Solar storm burnt the rover. That didn't happen as the rover survived and only lost the communication. So we have the correct answer as D part of it. Moving on to the fourth question, which is how much distance did opportunity cover in 14 glorious years of research? Parts are A part. 45.16 miles, B part, 28.06 kilometers, C part, 45 meters, D part, 28.06 miles. Please answer the question. I am getting A part, most of all. D part. D part. A part. Someone answered C, 45 meters. Forty-five seconds is about to get over. Please answer. I'm getting A part most of all. So the correct answer for this question is D part 28.06 miles. 
I make correct. I said forty five point one six kilometers and twenty eight point zero six miles. And the option A part was forty five point one six miles, not kilometers. And D part, whoever answered, it was correct. Moving on to the fifth question, which is. When did opportunity landed on the surface of Mars? A part, twenty fourth January two thousand four. B part, twenty fourth January two thousand three. C part, tenth June two thousand three. Or D part, eighth July two thousand three. Please answer the question, everyone. I am getting A and B mixture of answers. A part most of all. B part. A and B. the times of 45 seconds have passed and the correct answer for this question is a part 24th january 2004 2003 was not the correct answer because in 2003 the rover was launched and on 24th january 2004 it landed Landing anniversary. This gives you a clue that today is the landing anniversary of Opportunity rover. Moving next. Just for this, I hope you enjoyed the quick quiz and many of you answered quick. If you are not able to answer. <clears throat> Answer the right, uh, correct answers. No. As previously, I have used the word spirit, so you shall all know that spirit was the. Twin rover of opportunity, and both of them were based on doing different different types of research on the surface of the red planet. Now, except Spirit and Opportunity, many rovers have been spent sent to Mars. Some of those were the predecessors, and some of them are. Successors. The predecessor of these rovers is Sojourner rover. This was the very first rover landed on the surface of Mars in the world, as this was a successful launch and also a successful. This was a successful launch and also a successful land. This rover still wasn't very famous. But it did many things, and a fact I will mention is that the Sojourner rover traveled in a spacecraft called Lander, and the Lander shape was in pyramid. Also, it was covered with airbags, and these airbags made the rover bouncy and made a safe landing. Also, the Sojourner rover was of a size of a microwave, which is really interesting because there is a microwave on the surface of Mars with really advanced features. Also, this rover lasted for eighty-three days and exceeding 
the plan of seven days like opportunity it was only planned for 90 day mission but there it survived 14 years and 136 days and now if we see the successor it is curiosity rover curiosity the most advanced by far and it's still working the rover curiosity has very high defined defined instruments who outclass the previous rovers the spirit and opportunity especially the sojourner as sojourner was launched in 1996 and curiosity in 2011 so things were more specific but now as we come back to opportunity as we are here to discuss mainly about the opportunity rover let's go further and discuss about the findings of the rover too opportunity has covered more than 28 miles so it might have seen many things also and many craters too by researching it cleared many problems but some of the discoveries were just amazing the first discovery was that the solar panels cannot be used on the surface of Mars in any rover, as it is very difficult to do that. But now, when it's been known by the fault done to gain or recharge energy by solar panels, which done in three times mission, Sojourner, Spirit, and also Opportunity, it was done. <clears throat> now it was time to improve. Curiosity was launched containing a radio isotope power system instead of a solar panel to generate energy, electricity from the heat of plutonium radioactive decay. Now, before getting to the second discovery, let's know a fact about, <clears throat> about the craters. So, the fact was Victoria Crater that was so big that it got 1.5 years to only find an opening to get in the crater and after getting inside the crater opportunity spent more than two years of research and then cleared out of the victoria crater by stucking into the crater two times into the ripples so, now let's find out the second discovery and that was there are sedimentary rocks on surface of Mars other than the Earth's surface. Opportunity measurements and calculations showed that these rocks were formed other than Earth's, Earth's surface. These rocks were formed in ancient ephemeral plains. Now, you will be thinking that what is this ephemeral place? So, in short, the ephemeral places are lakes which are dried up at some point in time where once water flooded at some period of time too, which is now long gone, but the moisture is still there. No doubt, no doubt about that, but this is clear that there was water at Mars in some point of uh, in some point of our past. But when it is not known, but when it is not known, and the last and the third discovery was there are small spheres of hematite nickname, hematite rocks nickname as blueberries, as it looked like blueberries. Now, those who are formed on agricultural run, these uh, hematite rocks were made out of acidic groundwaters. And now, the last thing that where is opportunity now? 
many researchers and also the control team with the research team too they tried to recover the communication system with opportunity but that was not possible as when opportunity got up into the dust storm it covered a dense layer of dust on its solar panels and those solar panels were uh, covered with dust so the communication was really hard to manage then the research team tried a lot but there was a hope that we can communicate with opportunity again but there was no sign of communication by opportunity so there then it was officially said that now of uh, opportunity is offline forever and will not be able to come up new i hope you all enjoyed today's session and i hope you i got this opportunity of the webinar the space india group and uh, this in this covid period confined everyone is confined at home but the space i astronomer club ensured that whoever is interested in the astronomy not depending on the age it will he will or she will will be able to enjoy the astronomer and astronomy knowledge there are membership benefits to of the astronomy group there will be transferable global membership scientific publications by members university programs and internships profile building for admissions in foreign universities international scientific expeditions yearly meets and conferences enhancements of stem and scientific skills now as i astronomer you'll be able to do the virtual physical meet and exchange astronomy ideas training and access to observatory astronomy ambassador scientific projects and also global networking large coverage of astronomical events and occurrences in the world now as i said age doesn't matter interest does there will there will be a lot of things which you can do in the i astronomer club and if you want to in join the i astronomer club and want to be a member of it please search on the link given or contact us on the number given also that's all and i and bus singh will sign off from here i hope you all enjoyed the opportunity over session and i'll meet you soon in the next webinar thank you